Learning hand surgery one point at a time. The Eikhoff test was described by Eikhoff in 1927. It is an important provocative test used in the diagnosis of decurvened stenosynovitis. We need to be careful about performing this maneuver as it may cause extreme pain to the patient. The Finkelstein test consisted of just holding the thumb of the patient and Anna deviating the wrist. But in the Eikhoff maneuver, the patient is asked to adduct the thumb, place it on the palm and close the fist using all the other fingers. In this position, the examiner holds the entire fist and Anna deviates the wrist. Severe pain at the wrist will indicate a positive response. But we need to remember that this test produces more false positive results than the test described by Finkelstein.